In this video, we will be downloading, installing, and activating the Xilinx SDK for use with Snickerdoodle inside a Windows host machine. The first step to downloading is to navigate to Support, Downloads and Licensing, and Embedded Development from Xilinx.com. From here, we will download the Windows 64-bit installer. To complete the installation process, you will need a free Xilinx.com account, which you will also use to activate your software after installation. Once the installer has downloaded, you should right-click the install application and select Run as Administrator. Because the SDK is Eclipse-based, you will need to allow Java access to network communication. When the installer begins, you will need to enter your account credentials and select Next. You will then be prompted to accept the license agreements. For the Eclipse-based environment, we will select Xilinx Software Development Kit XSDK. The required compiler tool chain for Snickerdoodle is ARM Cortex-A9 and is selected by default. Immediately before installing, we have the option of selecting the installation directory and checking disk space requirements. After selecting install, the download, install, and activation will begin automatically. The install files are quite large and may take several minutes depending on your internet connection. Once the installation is complete, you can run the Xilinx SDK from the Start menu or Desktop shortcut. You will be prompted to specify a workspace directory. Your workspace directory cannot contain any white space in the path, so if your username contains white space, you will not be able to use your home folder. For updates and licensing, you will be prompted to allow Eclipse access to network communication. The first time running the SDK, you will be prompted to generate or activate a license. The license manager will run and you will be able to acquire and activate a free SDK license. The license manager will open your browser where you will complete the rest of the registration and activation process. From the product licensing page, we will select Xilinx SDK from activation based licenses. This is a node locked license, but it can be released and reactivated on a different machine if needed. Once the license is generated, the license manager will automatically acquire the license and activate it. You can now relaunch your activated copy of the SDK and begin development. If you are again prompted to activate an SDK license, you will need to check your firewall settings to make sure your client is successfully able to communicate with the license server. Links to additional resources and documentation can be found in the description of this video.